Hello guys, welcome to Lion Table Screen Printing. I'm Jericho from Jury. For today's video tutorial, I will teach you how to make a solid underbase in Photoshop as I mentioned in our last video. So we're going to use UltraSep to separate colors. For those who do not know what UltraSep is about, it is ultimate separation tool for Photoshop so you don't need to struggle using CorelDRAW or Illustrator. On image containing gradients, main spot colors, image requiring underbase, highlight whites, etc. Just open your vector artwork with Photoshop and let UltraSep make easy work of it according to Google. UltraSep is not a free tool, but if you're going to invest in this tool, it really is a big help in speed productivity. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back guys, as I said earlier, we're going to use Photoshop. By the way, I'm using new version of Photoshop. So let's wait the Adobe to load its time in. Now that the Photoshop finished loading, we're going to use Bone Bike Rider to make a solid underbase and we're going to separate the design. So we're going to separate the color. Let's open our design. You can see the action panel here. I already the, installed the Ultraseps. You can see here the Ultraseps tools. By the way guys, what is action in Photoshop? Action is a series of tasks that you play back on a single file or a batch files. Menu commands, panel options, tool actions, and so on. For example, you can create an action that changes the size of an image applies an effect to the image and then save the file in the desired format. In short guys, whatever you are doing in Photoshop, it will record it. And if you play it again, it will do the same thing you did. Now check our size of this design. As you can see, the resolution is 600. I'm going to reduce it to 300 because 600 is too much. Then check your width and height if you're going to change it make sure that it will not overlap to your skin but for me this is okay for me then then click okay then check the quality if it's okay to you or not uh, you can go back but for me i think it's okay now we're going to use the ultra set to separate the color i'm going to separate it first before we can uh, make a an under this i'm going to use the basic spot color let me zoom it so you can see the basic spot color run. It is an action run. So let me use this action so you can separate the color. Click it, then continue, then click the color. Don't forget to click the invert. So click the desired color and the fastness make sure it's zero. So click OK. Then then click the stop button and let's run it again uh, to separate the red color. So choose the red color, then the fastening make it sure it's zero, then click OK. You don't see any change in layer tab, but when you switch it on the channel tab, you can see the channel layer here. The red color and the black color. Now that we are done separating the color, Next is we're going to uh, make a solid underbase. In Ultraseps guys, there's also a basic spot underbase action but different from what we will do. But we will try to use it and see what will happen in the design. Now let's see what happened in the channel tab. You can see there's a white spot under base but we're going to put it on the top and you can see the white spot under base is only on the black area and red area. This is not good because we're going to print this on the black shirt. But you can also print the solid white under base without the black and then put the red ink on the design 
you can see on the Photoshop there is no difference between the origin original design and the separated design but if we're going to print this on the actual shirt the back of the design will be different so we need a solid white under base that will be covered the black area and the red area how can we make like that let's go back to the original PSD go to the layer tab then click the market tool then select the outer area of the design after you selected the outer area press ctrl shift i on your keyboard to inverse the selection then hold your control button on your keyboard then click the create new channel then the new spot channel will be appear and then select the white color and then click ok then you can name it white this is the easy way to create a solid white underbase now let's check it what will happen if we put the black background on it let's move the background on the top so we can see the design i think i already achieved the underbase that i want but there's a problem there's a bleeding on the uh, white under base how we can remove that hold your control button on your keyboard then click the icon to select it then let's turn off the visibility of the other colors then control shift i to inverse the selection and then click the choke white base one pixel and then let's see what happened if the white under base reduced by one pixel if you think it's still not enough you can choose the two pixel to reduce the white underbase. I think for me this is good. It will not bleed the white underbase. So we can proceed to our printing. As you can see, there is no bleeding in the white underbase. So we can use this. But as you can see, we use a software to reduce the pixel how we can achieve that without using a software so we can do that even without without a software so select again using a market tool to select the outer layer of the design then after that press again the control shift i to, to inverse then go to select modify and then contract I think one is good so click OK. Then let's see if the selection reduced by one. You can see the selection. I think it re it's reduced it. Same procedure guys. Control while clicking the control new channel. And then choose the name it white. Then choose the white in the color. Then move it on the top. So let's see what happened in if there's a bleeding on the design or the white under base i think it's it's not bleeding so i can use that way so that's it guys i think i already cover all how to make the white under base and how to not bleed the white under base uh, reduce it by one pixel or two pixel then don't forget to remove the RGB channel so we don't need it anymore so after you separated the color you can remove the RGB by using ultraceps or remove it by one by one by deleting it the RGB channel either way you can do that So that's it guys, don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell for more video updates. Thank you very much for watching.